Good morning, students. The other day, I discussed about the merits of partnership business. And you know, everything has some merits as well as some demerits. So in today's class, I am going to discuss the first four demerits of partnership. As I told you earlier, Shay Moyavada, whenever you are going to discuss the demerits or the merits, first you have to write the subheadings. That is the key point. And after the writing the subheadings, you can explain those poems in your own language by using only two to three sentences. No need to write a paragraph or a story or something like that. And it's very easy. If you write these subheadings, definitely you are going to score a very good marks. So today's class, I am going to discuss the demerits of partnership. First, Four demerits. And you know the meaning of demerits. Demerits means something bad. Some drawbacks. About a particular business. Here we are going to talk about certain drawbacks. Certain problems. Certain difficulties. About partnership business. The point number one. Limited resources. So you may say. Sir. Just when you discuss the merit. Then you said. There is large capital resources. And here you are talking about limited resources. Here you are talking about the resources means the capital resources. How it is possible? One side you are saying a large capital resources when you talk about the merits. And here you are talking about limited resources when you are talking about the demerits. So just understand better. There I was comparing it with the sole proprietorship business. Because in sole proprietorship business, the capital was contributed by only one person. But in place of partnership business, the capital was contributed by more than one person. So if you compare the capital contributed by one person in the sole proprietorship business and capital contributed in the partnership where at least two or more than two person is contributing, so that is why it was large. In comparison to sole proprietorship business. But on the other hand, when I am coming to limited resources, they are what I am going to tell you better. Because there are some business where you can collect the share from the public. There is no limit to whom you from whom you are going to collect the capital. But in place of partnership, the number of partners are limited. There is a maximum number of partners should be there in a partnership business. And if the maximum number of partners in a partnership business is fixed, that means only that particular number of partners can contribute the capital in the partnership business or not. When a fixed number of partners only can contribute the capital in a partnership business, definitely in comparison to other business except sole proprietorship business, the capital resources will be less or you know limited because limited number of partners are there in partnership business and the limited number of partners are only contributing the capital to the business. That is why the resource is limited. I hope it is clear to you. Second one, unlimited liabilities. What do you mean by here? Liabilities. Here you can say liabilities means responsibilities or they are liable. Unlimited. Whose liability is unlimited? The liabilities of the partners are unlimited. What do you mean by that? That means if the partnership business has any profit, the profit will be shared among the partners. But if the partnership business has any loss, or any kind of, you know, whatever, credit in the market, that has to be bear by each and every partner. Like the, there is some, see, the partnership business has a loss because of the mistake of one partner. Sometimes it may happen, so that the other partner cannot say that because of that particular partner, the partnership business has a great loss. Let that loss be fulfilled by that particular partner. You cannot say it. 
because partnership business is basically established on the mutual understanding and faith among the partners so here if there is any kind of bank loan or any kind of losses in the partnership business that has to be bear by each and every partner you cannot blame it to the other one partners that is why every partners liability is unlimited all right next uncertain life you know the meaning of uncertain life means means the life of the business partnership business is uncertain why good partnership business depend upon the good faith good belief good relationship good understanding among the partners the day there will be there will be some misunderstanding some you know uh, i'm telling you uh, mis some in conflict among the partners then the partnership business are not going to last that is why and one more thing i told you earlier partnership business is not started by any legal formalities or by any government interference when there is no government interference when there is no legal formalities and if there is any misunderstanding among the partners there is no need for you to take the permission from the government to stop it or close it down if the partners are not in a good you know understanding they whenever they like they can close down a partnership business that is why its life is uncertain because its life is depend upon the partners wish its life is not depend upon the government wish its life is not depend upon the legal formalities the life of a partnership is depend upon the partners wish तो पार्टनर्स का कब मर्जी होगा कब उस लोग अंदर में बड़ा मिसअंडरस्टैंडिंग हो जाए जब चाहेगा तब लोग बंद कर सकता है उसके लिए कोई दूसरा चीज नहीं दैट इज वाई इट इज कॉल्ड अनसर्टेन लाइफ एंड एट लास्ट कॉन्फ्लिक्ट व्हाट इज द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट कॉन्फ्लिक्ट मीन्स द मिसअंडरस्टैंडिंग अमंग द पार्टनर्स द फेथ अमंग द पार्टनर्स द बिलीव अमंग द पार्टनर्स वेन यू वर्किंग टूगेदर सो मेनी पर्सन is obviously either today or tomorrow there is a chance of misunderstanding there is a chance of conflict conflict comes from where might be maybe you are you are thinking with some way the other partners in might be thinking in some other way when everyone thinking is not same everyone's decision is not same everyone's wish is not same then what is going to be happen there is a chance of misunderstanding and all the people are from different society all the people are from different caste all the partners might be from different creed all the partners might be of different standard when there is lot of differences are there there is a chance of conflicts among the partners and that is one of the demerits of partnership and as the conflict comes partnership is going to finish so that is what i told you four merits limited resources i have made it clear to you unlimited liability means i am talking about the liability of the partners why is unlimited i told you ek partner ka galti ka every partner has to bear they cannot say uska galti us samajh no uncertain life i told you why uncertain life your partnership business life is depend upon the partners wish not wish of the law of the country or not wish wish of the government of the country it depend on the partners wish टनरशिपनरशिपनरशिपनरशिपनरशिपनरशिपनरशिपनरशिपनरशिपनरशिपनरशिपनरशिपनरशिपनरशिपनरशिपनरशिपनरशिपनरशिपनरशिपनरशि